So, hello to everyone. Thank you for staying for the last day and listening to my presentation. So my name is Zev Zalewski, I'm from bar -Elan University, and I'm going to speak about imaging through scattering media by 3D spatial filtering embedded into a microendoscope. So my disclosure is that, first of all, I'm a professor to biomedical engineering. I'm not a medical doctor. No one is perfect, apparently. And my second disclosure is that uh, this technology was developed as a research done in collaboration between the Faculty of Engineering and Z-Square Medical, and the authors are partially employed by Z-Square Medical. Okay, so uh, about a decade ago, we have developed a, a new microendoscopy ba uh, imaging platform based on uh, multi-core fibers that can allow highly super-resolved imaging while uh, the imaging is obtained in the minimally in a minimal, ultra-thin diameter of the multi-core fiber. And this uh, uh, fiber was uh, embedded into a, a platform, a single-use platform that is based on three parts. A single-use shell, which has the handle, the steering mechanism, the imaging fiber, the illumination fiber. It has a, a, an imaging core, which includes optical tubes and a camera, and it has a console that involves a display unit, a processing, image processing unit, and so on. Now, this platform is in its final stages of getting an FDA approval. Uh, as I said, there is a single-use shell, which has the multi-core imaging fiber, which is connected to a reusable imaging core, like this. What is interesting what is interesting about this uh, microendoscope is it is a, a, a one platform that can provide a multiple biomedical indications. So a single reusable imaging core could be connected and combined to many different types of single-use shells that could be used for different medical applications. And if you compare uh, the performance of such a, an imaging um, device for a single-use ENT, applications, and we take a, an endoscope that has an external diameter of about 2.3 millimeters and compare it to a similar size of reusable fiber scope, and we try to observe a, a spatial resolution target, you see that the image quality is significantly better. And if we take and compare the performance of this uh, uh, imaging device, which is based, as I said, on a special uh, multi-core fiber, which is seen on the right uh, upper side of this slide, and compare it to other uh, imaging uh, endoscopes, you see that although this fiber has only 450 by 450 microns diameter, it performs better in sensor resolution in comparison to other imaging sensors, which are about one by one millimeter in their diameter. But what is the problem? It's a nice imaging platform, but when you do medical procedures, there is a lot of blood, and it is difficult to perform imaging through blood because blood scatters light. So what I'm going to speak about today, in the time that I still have, is a new operational operation principle that we have developed in order to allow a microendoscope to see high result, to capture high resolution images through scattering medium as blood. We use a specially designed diffractive optical element which filters out the focus photons and therefore it improves the signal to noise ratio of, uh, of the imaging system. We use a laser to illuminate the object. We illuminate the object through the scattering medium and the laser is a pulse laser while uh, its tip being vibrated by a few microns during the illumination process. And this generates an array of dots, a raster which is projected through the scattering medium, through the blood, on top of the object that we want to uh, image. And together with this diffractive optical element, a significant enhancement of the signal-to-noise ratio is obtained. In this slide, you can see the structure, the schematic sketch of the uh, imaging module that involves the project, uh, projection of the raster on top of the target object, which is positioned behind the scattering medium you see a, a set of telecentric imaging lenses and the array of the diffractive optical elements which is composed out of uh, many micro lenses which filter the defocused photons. Now, how does it happen? If you look on this schematic sketch, you see the green and the blue lines which uh, correspond to photons coming from the in-focus plane of the object and they reach to the image plane. 
uh, perfectly well. On the other hand, the red line designates photons coming from a defocused plane, and because of the usage of the DOE raster and the uh, telecentric lenses, they are being blocked by the uh, regions which block light between the micro lenses, and therefore they do not arrive to the image plane, which enhances significantly the signal to noise ratio because the defocused photons are practically noise. Here you can see several experimental uh, results that we have obtained with our novel, novel imaging uh, model. In this case, you see uh, a test that we performed while we, while we were trying to image a resolution target of a large field of view while it was imaged through one millimeter of blood. On the left side of the slide, you can see the resolution target without the blood. In the middle, you can see how it is seen in regular imaging system without using our diffractive optical element. And in the right, you see how it is seen with the diffractive optical element. And if you perform a quantified analysis by how much the signal to no noise ratio was improved, you can see that in this case, an improvement was done with a factor of four over this large field of view in which the object was positioned. In the next experiment, we tried to perform, perform imaging through smaller field of view, but through several millimeters of, of blood. Uh, and you can see here the resolution target on the right upper side of the slide. In the left upper side, you see how the image is imaged, the object is imaged without using our approach, and in the lower side is how it is seen through the blood, through the few millimeters of blood with our approach. And in this case, the improvement of the SNR was by a factor of approximately 20. Here you see another example. Again, the left upper image is without our concept, and the lower uh, uh, left image is with our uh, concept, and in this case, the improvement of the signal to noise ratio was done by a factor of 40. So to conclude my presentation, I showed you a time multiplexing, a time a consuming concept which is based upon imaging through scattering medium such as blood and the approach includes projection through the scattering medium of an array of dots, a raster on top of the object that we try to image in order to match this array with the photonic information coming from, coming from it to match it with the special array of diffractive optical elements that will filter the defocused photons. The approach significantly increased the depth of focus sensitivity and we experimentally were able to show improvement in the signal to noise ratio uh, for factors between 20 and factor of 40 for imaging through several millimeters of blood. Thank you for your attention.